hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is charlene for those of you who are new and to my loyal subscribers thank you as always for coming back in today's video we're talking all about alexandria fragrances in case you don't know Alexandria Fragrances is a fragrance brand with affordable fragrances. Many of the fragrances they offer are inspired by other brands, mostly niche brands, but they also have their own creations. I will tell you guys all about the fragrances I received. I received the full size bottle as well as four travel sprays and two samples. As always, I'm gonna give you guys my personal experience with the fragrances, what I think about them, and um, kind of just discover them together with you guys. I received these fragrances over a month ago and I've been playing with them and testing them out and I have a lot to share. If you guys wanna learn all about Alexandria fragrances, please keep watching. The packaging for the 100 ml bottles come like this. The packaging is very good quality. However, it is lightweight, so if you're expecting something heavy, don't. Whenever you open it, the actual bottle looks like this. The bottle itself is quite heavy duty, okay? And then when you take it out, this is your fragrance right here. Like I said, I've had some time to play with this and I just want to tell you guys what I think. So, so I typically do my unboxings over on Instagram in case you guys want to see that. As I mentioned previously, some of these fragrances are inspired by other brands that you might or might not be familiar with. Lady Diana exclusive. I love the name by the way. These are available in various sizes. This is the 100 ml and this one retails for $109. So this one is inspired by Parfum de Marly Delina Exclusive, super popular. I do not own a full size of Delina Exclusive, but I do have decans of it and I went ahead and spread it over here just so I can remind myself what it smells like. And it is absolutely gorgeous. This I spread a month ago. I can still detect it on the scent card, which is quite impressive. I will say that when I spray it, I can tell that there's a difference between Lady Diana exclusive and Delina exclusive. However, there are so many similarities in the composition. I think longevity is what I was most impressed about when I tried this on. When I first got it, I said, love, yes. Oh my God. I always write my first impressions on these cards because I like to go back to them as a reference point. So immediately, I love this. It is rosy, it has lychee, it is sweet. I can see why someone would compare this to Delina. They have similar qualities for sure. But longevity on Lady Diana exclusive is amazing. I got confused. <laughs> When I did a full day wear test on this, I was definitely impressed and slightly confused because I forgot I was wearing Lady Diana exclusive. I mean, once it dries down, they perform, if not equally, probably better, I would almost dare say. Like I said, not exact, but very impressive. And I would say pretty close to Delina exclusive if I were to compare the two. So if you want something that is more affordable, something around the same lines, around the same scent profile, Lady Diana exclusive is your girl. She is good. So like I mentioned, they also sent me a travel set. The travel set comes like this. So whenever you open the travel set, I believe I believe you can buy it individually, but I got four of them. So they came packaged like this, pretty convenient, pretty cool. I like that you have the logo on it and then you simply twist it up like this and then you have the fragrance which you can pull out. This is a 10 ml. The first one on my list to talk about is Vanille Doré. My very first impression when I tried Vanille Doré was not sure about this one. However, once it dried down, I loved the dry down so much better. I wrote buttercream, frosting, and vanilla cakes. It wasn't a love like Lady Diana exclusive, but I loved the dry down on this one. I knew instantly that it was vanilla heavy. So this one is inspired by Guerlain's Spirituous Double Vanille. I love the dry down so much. So this one is creamy and smooth. I would say that this one is very much a gourmand leaning fragrance. Very yummy. I do not own nor have I sniffed Guerlain Spirituous Double Vanille. So I cannot speak on that, but I love this one. I was definitely not a fan of the initial spray, but it worked out. The dry down is beautiful. It is delicious. Next up, we have Paris Night. When I first spread this one, it was an immediate love. It was sweet but edgy and there was an incense vibe about it. 
that's what I wrote down. I really like this one and it is inspired by a fragrance that I've been wanting for a very long time. It is inspired by Maison Francis Cook de Jean's Grand Soir. And Grand Soir is definitely on my wish list. This one made me want it even more. This smells absolutely amazing, but at a fraction of the cost. I could wear this on a date night. It gives me that night out vibe. When I check the notes, this one does not have any incense in it like I initially thought but it definitely gives me that vibe. It's warm, it's sexy, it is unisex, like you cannot go wrong. Next up, I have Gourmand Kiss. The name alone kind of gives you an idea what this one would be like. This one was very Gourmand, sweet like candy, creamy milky smoothness, that's what I wrote. This is inspired by Dior's Fev Delicieux. I didn't put any love or like on there, but I know after I wore this, I did enjoy it a lot. Personally, I prefer Vanille Dore over Gourmand Kiss. This one is recommended to wear during cooler weather. It is very warm. You have tonka bean vanilla, cacao. Like this one is a warm one, y'all. I definitely agree that it would thrive better in the cooler weather, but you can wear a fragrance whenever you want. I try them out. I live on the edge and I try fragrances in any weather. So that's just me personally. And then my last travel spray is Honey. This is inspired by Nisha Ney's Honey. If you've heard anything about this fragrance, you know it's very well liked, super popular. I said like a lot. When I did my wear test, I loved it. So this one is really, really good. I said it has a very, very like opening with a dose of something sweet vanilla. I find this one to be very sexy. I enjoy this one immensely, more than I anticipated. This one does not have very, very. Sometimes the patchouli base gives me that very, very vibe, but I did write very, very on this. If you've been wanting to try Ani by Nishane and you do not want to drop all those coins, you could definitely go for Honey by Alexandria Fragrances. It is beautiful. I love it. Very, very enjoyable. Love wearing this one. The last two I got came in this cute little box. When I pulled this one out and tried it, I was shook. The first one I'm about to talk about is Megatron. Oh my God. My very first spray, I was like, whoa. <laughs> this one is a powerhouse. This one is is strong. I feel like it leans more masculine. It is not inspired by Oud for Greatness, but it gives me that vibe. In all the ones I've talked about, this would be like the most potent, I think. However, that initial burst of strength and masculinity kind of dies out a little bit and you immediately get more of a fresh, clean, aquatic vibe. So it's like in your face and then it really like settles down quickly. It is inspired by Megamar by Otto Parisi. I'm not familiar with the brand. The initial burst gives me that, that oud for greatness strength, and then it settles down into a more subdued, more refreshing, more clean, way more aquatic than I tend to like go for. I said, whoa, <laughs> the initial spray had me, like that initial spray was a do or die. If you are into aquatic fresh scents, I feel like you will like Megatron. The name speaks for itself, like it is a powerhouse in the opening, very masculine scent in the dry down. The last one on my list is Shooting Star. I like the name of this one, and this one is a burst of vibrancy, effervescent and bright, like a star. So I still feel the exact same way I did a month ago. This one is very bright and I feel like aptly named. That is the vibe I get when I spray it. It's inspired by Etoile Filante. Yeah, this one has notes of strawberry, magnolia, jasmine. It says it comes to you like a jammy strawberry comet. I do get more of the musk in the initial spray. Um, I need to test this one out a little bit more. I feel like this is the one I've worn the least. And so I need to play with it to see if I get more of that strawberry, but it's more floral and musky to my nose. This is my overview of all the fragrances I received from Alexandria Fragrances. I enjoy majority of them. A couple of them uh, take a little bit of getting used to, and these are my thoughts. Let us know in the comment section if you've tried anything from Alexandria Fragrances. If you guys are looking for high quality inspired fragrances, at an affordable price. I definitely suggest that you do. I'm not getting paid to say this. I literally just got the fragrances as gifts and I have tried them. I enjoy them and I totally recommend trying the house. For the price point, I feel like you cannot go wrong. So 
that is it for the video thank you as always for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye bye